at Arsenal. Arsenal said to be looking at the possibility of a loan deal for the Belgian. And it seems that his form and his fitness, or lack thereof, for Real Madrid hasn't put them off. I mean, I was surprised by this one. I, I simply cannot see this happening. He's just not the sort of player that you'd imagine Arteta um, would like to bring in. Now, obviously, fast forward two weeks and it's happened and I look extremely silly. But I, I cannot understand why they'd go for a player like Hazard, who at the moment is so short of form and fitness. We all know, look, he is a brilliant player, but the transfer to Real Madrid hasn't worked out. This season, he's played in just three La Liga matches, unused substitute much of the time. During the World Cup, we didn't really see much signs of the old Hazard there either. I'd be extremely surprised if this came off. I just don't think it's the sort of player which Arsenal want or necessarily need. Any thoughts on it, Janish? Uh, is he coming? Would he be coming for almost like free? Or I mean, if he was, I, I you know, like if there's a coach, uh, I, I'm with you. I mean, he, nothing's free, is it? No, but I mean, he wouldn't. I, I, I think Real Madrid would be very happy to get rid of him uh, rather cheaply, wouldn't they? Right? Uh, you know, part of me thinks, you know, if there's a coach, Nicol Arteta. I mean, he was the best in in the Premier League once or twice. I can't remember. Um, no indications, but I, if it wasn't too costly. Uh, why not? Experience? I mean, what's there to lose? You can always get rid of him. So uh, highly unlikely, but Mikel Arteta strikes me as a manager that would like this project to kind of see if he can revive uh, what we saw once in Eden Hazard. And he was, remember, there was a season where he was unplayable, right, Premier League. Let me stick with you, Janesh, because it's a player that we knew very well from the Bundesliga in Wout Weghorst, whose name has come up next, to Manchester United. It looks as though a verbal agreement has been reached. They'll pay Besiktas €3 million to end his loan early and take him from his parent club, Burnley, for the rest of the season. You'll remember those two goals against Argentina in the spat with Messi in Qatar. He's six foot six. He was brilliant. He was consistent at Wolfsburg. Would this be a good fit, do you think? I think it would be zero risk. I love him. You know, I mean, you know me. I mean, I've been talking about Valt when he was in Bundesliga. I, I've always felt that he's the sort of player that's kind of under the radar, not in a way of a superstar, but I think a player that's capable of scoring goals. Uh, look, I mean, even I loved him at Burnley uh, as well, even though, I mean, he wasn't a prolific goal scorer, but uh, I think he contributed. And that's the beauty of it. That, that He's humble enough, I think. He's one of those players that no matter where he goes, when he comes on the pitch, he makes a difference. You've mentioned what happened in the World Cup. I actually commentated that game. I was extremely happy uh, for him because, I don't know, I, I think it just, in my book, he's he's the sword that, especially in, in January, he can come in and he can really, really help you. So uh, I think it's a great buy. You know, part of me thought that, you know, why not Chelsea? Chelsea would have been a team that could use uh, 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 Veghorst in that because the way they play, obviously they have so many wide players that are capable of de delivering a ball and you have a pure nine that kind of, you know, I don't want to say that sits there because he does a lot more for a big guy, uh, but I think there's almost zero risk for Manchester United. I mean, I, I don't see I, I don't see a, a risk here. And I pro as I sit here, we're talking <laughs> about Val because he's a very likable player. He's a player, he, he, you know, obviously, you know, I, I think of him as a manager's dream. So I think he's going to contribute and, and I like the signing. You're nodding away at a number of points there, Tom Hamilton. I am. Yeah, I think it's a brilliant piece of business. Um, though he didn't score that many goals for Burnley, he brings something different to the team. He's tall, he's strong, he can hold the ball up. Imagine him playing alongside Rashford. Again, it's a, it's a sort of a no-risk transfer and Man United have done this really really well in the past remember when they took Henrik Larsson on loan more recently they took Igalo they worked out of course on the other end of the scale you've got Falcao which was an unmitigated disaster so United fans will be hoping it's more Larsson and Falcao but I think it's a really decent piece of business and pretty astute from um, Eric Ten Hag. One thing we know about Brighton, Tom, is that they've been very good at identifying players, selling them at a profit. There's two names right now that I want to put up to you. Moises Caicedo to Liverpool and Leandro Trossard to Spurs. What more can you tell us about these rumours? I think on the Caicedo front, Klopp at the start of the transfer window after he signed uh, Cody Gakpo said that it's kind of a monopoly market at the moment, such are the prices being quoted by clubs and so forth. And obviously with Caicedo having played so well at the World Cup, his stock has definitely risen. Um, if this is something which goes ahead, I imagine it would be something which would be probably more close to pursued in the summer. And I think also the destination of Caicedo is probably also reliant on what happens to Jude Bellingham. Different players, but equally two extremely 
uh, promising, impressive uh, defensive midfielders or central midfielders. Um, so Carcedo, I think, would be a brilliant fit for Liverpool. Exactly the sort of profile of a player they want. He's done so well at Brighton. Um, while I expect that probably to happen, if it does happen later in the summer, I think Trossard's a really interesting one. He's exactly what Tottenham need at the moment. He's played well in the Premier League. He's a brilliant experience. He brings another option up front. He kind of takes that pressure off Harry Kane. I think if Trossard was available, then other clubs suddenly would start to pounce as well. He's that sort of player where he can slot into systems. He's very versatile. He's used to the Premier League. He ticks a lot of boxes. 